this video is about problem solving involving systems of linear equations in two variables for eighth graders. Eighth graders, welcome to your virtual classroom. Just a few reminders for your convenience. Get a sheet of paper and a pen to answer the exercises. To make sure you comprehend and follow through the concepts in the video, pause and replay the video at any time in any point. Now you are ready. At the end of this video, you are expected to apply knowledge learned in solving systems of linear equations in two variables. Solve problems involving systems of linear equations in two variables by graphing, substitution, and elimination method. Now that we know the objectives of this video, let's begin. Given that, equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 10 and equation 2 is y is equal to 2x, we can substitute 2x to y in equation 1 which is x plus y is equal to 10 because in equation 2, y is equal to 2x. Therefore, we have x plus y is equal to 10, x plus 2x is equal to 10, 3x is equal to 10, and x is equal to 10 over 3. Now, let us substitute 10 over 3 to your x in the second equation, which is y is equal to 2x. We have y is equal to 2 times the quantity of 10 over 3. And y is 20 over 3. Which of the three methods previously discussed was used in this example? Is it the graphing method? Well, obviously not, because we are not graphing the equations. It should be either elimination or substitution. What do you think it is? The correct answer is, that is right. We are employing substitution method in this particular example. Now here is a situation. Your mother is three times as old as you. Ten years from now, your mother will be two times as old as you. How old are you now? How do you think we can get the answer? Let us solve a problem which involves systems of linear equations in two variables using the three methods. Now let us examine this example. Cebu City is already in modified general community quarantine and all the malls are already opened. Jenny decided to go to the mall with her friends wearing masks and following the social distancing protocol to treat them because she was not able to invite them during her birthday last May. Jen has 200 pesos to spend. She discovered a shop with an affordable milk tea for 50 pesos and all slices of cake for 25 pesos each. She bought six items. How many bottles of milk tea and slices of cake do you think Jen bought for her friends? Solving by graphical method. Unknown. Number of milk tea bottles and slices of cake bought. Given. Milk tea and slices of cake. Number of items bought? Six. Milk tea is for 50 pesos and a slice of cake is for 25 pesos. And she has 200 pesos total money. Let X be your milk tea and Y be your cake. Equation 1. Number of milk tea bottles and slices of cake equal to the total number of items bought. That will be X plus Y is equal to 6. Equation 2. The price of a milk tea times the number of bottles and the slices of cake multiplied by its price is equal to the total amount of money on hand. That would be 50x plus 25y is equal to 20. Now let us solve. 
Solve for the value of x to get the value of y. For equation 1, we have 0, 1, 2 for our value of x. And if x is 0, y is 6. x is 1, y is 5. And x is 2, y is 4. In the same manner, we are going to give values to our x for our second equation, which is 50x plus 25y is equal to 200. If x is 0, then y is 8. If x is 1, then y is 6. And if x is 2, then y is 4. To review about graphical method, check out the video of the previous lesson. Now let us graph the points. For x, y is equal to 6, we have 0, 6, 1, 5, and 2, 4. For 50x plus 25y is equal to 200, we have 0, 8, 1, 6, and 2, 4. Their point of intersection is 2, 4. Therefore, Jen bought two bottles of milk tea and four slices of cake. Solving by substitution method. Again, check out the unknown, the given, and represent. Now let us solve. First, select a simple equation in the system and solve for x in terms of y. So the simpler equation is equation 1. So we have to solve for x in terms of y. So we are going to express this equation into x is equal to 6 minus y. Now substitute the equivalent equation to the other equation, then simplify. Solve the values of the unknown variable. We have here, we are going to substitute equation 3 to our equation 2. Substitute the equivalent equation to the other equation, then simplify. Solve the values of the unknown variable, which means x. So, we have here 50x. Our x is 6 minus y. We substitute that. Then, we simplify 50 times 6 is 350 times y. Or 50 times negative y is negative 50y. Plus 25y is equal to 200. Simplifying further, we have negative 50y plus 25y is equal to negative 25y equals 200 minus 300 is negative 100. Dividing both sides with negative 25 to get the value of y, which is 4. Now, substitute the value of the unknown variable to any of the equations to find the value of the other variable, which is your y. We are going to use equation 1 because it is simpler. y is equal to 4. Substituting that to our simpler equation, we have x is equal to 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. The solution is 2, 4. Therefore, Jen bought two bottles of milk tea and four slices of cake. Now, what about solving by elimination method? Same process for the unknown, the given, and the representation. Now let's move on to the solution. Arrange the equations in the standard form. That will be x plus y is equal to 6, 50x plus 25y is equal to 200. Now let us eliminate one variable by addition. Here, we are going to eliminate y. So, in order to do that, we are going to multiply x plus y is equal to 6 by negative 25 so that it can be eliminated because the other equation has positive 25. So, when we multiply that with negative 25, it will become a negative 25x minus 25y is equal to negative 150. We are going to use this new equation right here and adding them we can factor out negative 25y and 25y. What's left is negative 25x plus 50x is 25x. Negative 150 plus 200 is equal to 50. We can get the value of x, which is 2. 
Now, let us solve the other variable by substituting the result in step 3 to any of the arranged equations in step 1. Let us use the second equation. We have here 50 times 2, which is the value of your x, plus 25y is equal to 200. 50 times 2 is 100. And then, we are going to simplify further. 25y is equal to 200 minus 100. And 25y is equal to 100. y is equal to 4. Therefore, the solution is 2, 4. And, therefore, Jen bought 2 bottles of milk tea and 4 slices of cake. Now, we can see that any of the methods in solving systems of linear equations will lead us to the same answer. Now, which one is easier? Is it the graphing method, the substitution method, or the elimination method? Now, going back to our first problem, your mother is three times as old as you. Ten years from now, your mother will be two times as old as you. How old are you now? Let us solve this by substitution. Let x be the age of mother and y be your age. Then, making a table, mom is x, you is y, age now is x for mom and 3y for you because we said there that your mother is three times as old as you. Now, what will be your age and your mom's age 10 years from now? That will be x plus 10 and y plus 10. Equation number one. We said that your mom is three times as old as you. Equation number two. It said that 10 years from now, which will be y plus 10, you will be two times as old as your mom. Now, this equation needs to be simplified. So, we are going to distribute the value of 2 into y and 10. And then, we are going to simplify further. x minus 2y is equal to 20 minus 10. Simplifying further, that will be 20 minus 10 is equal to 10. Substitute 3y to x in equation 2 because x is equal to 3y. We have 3y minus 2y is equal to 10 and y is equal to 10. If you are 10 years old, then your mother is 30 years old. Now going back to original equation 2, this is you. Your age now is 10. 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. So if you are 20 years old now, then your mother must be 20 times 2 is 40 years old. So let us answer the question. How old are you now? That is right. You are 10 years old now. What's more? Solve the system of linear equations using any method on a separate sheet of paper. We have three numbers to work on. Again, you can pause and replay this video as needed. Or, or watch the video of the previous lessons. Now here is what you need to remember. Steps in solving problems involving systems of linear equations in two variables. Number one, write the unknown. Number two, give the given. Number three, represent the given with variables. Number four, show solution using the steps in solving problems involving systems of linear equations in two variables by graphing, substitution, and elimination method. Number five, identify the solution and check for both equations and, and write the conclusion of the problem. Solve the given problem involving systems of linear equations in two variables by graphing, substitution, or elimination method on a separate sheet of paper. 
show your solutions. Because of the quarantine nationwide, most people shifted from work-home setup and it became a burden to those who don't know how to cook as they couldn't dine in in any restaurant or fast food chain. Because of this, they opted to order via online using several food delivery applications. In one day, one food delivery company can receive 110 bookings without cancellation. Most of the orders are budget meals and snacks. If a budget meal costs 80 pesos and snacks for 30 pesos, how many bookings of budget meals and snacks are there if the food delivery company earns 5,800 pesos a day? Congratulations! You just finished Module 11 of Quarter 1. You are doing good and getting smarter. This has been your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. Get involved and keep on learning. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell.